Hey y'all, I'm back. It's your Rojo Nazur, and I am here with a reading for Capricorn. We're going to find out what is going to be happening November 1st to the 6th. If you can just take the time to go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notifications for your girl. And if this happens to resonate, then later on you can go ahead and put the thumbs up, comment, and share this video out. Also, remember... This is for any Capricorn anywhere in your charts. Hello to my cross watchers. And remember, this is a general reading, so it might not resonate with everybody. But what does resonate, use your intuition, let it stick. And what doesn't, let it fall off. There's no need for you to be carrying anybody else's baggage. So let's go ahead and tap into this reading. How are y'all doing, Capricorns? I'm hoping that y'all are done overthinking putting your energy into one thought, <laughs> trying to come up with ways to control how things are coming out. Let's see what we have. Okay. All right, so we have the Knight of Cups here, Queen of Pentacles, the Death card. King of Pentacles. So my idea from looking at these cards is that you have some opportunities flowing in. You have some opportunities flowing in. And you're having a hard relationship with a woman. There's a woman um, that's not bringing anything to the table. I feel like she's just causing a whole lot of chaos for you right now. You're looking to do something new. Maybe you're wanting a new start with somebody else. And with this King of Pentacles, I feel like that's the opportunity. You finally got selected for something or you finally decided to select something in your path. And now you are standing tall. You're feeling wealthy. It's something that's um, got you standing front and center right now. We're going to get some more clarity on that. All right. So can we find out what's going on with the Knight of Cups? What's the opportunities that's flowing in? Okay, you've been you haven't been putting your eggs all in one basket, but you definitely let's see what we have. We have the Knight of Wands, Three of Swords, and the Four of Swords. Something that you're passionate about. There's something that you're passionate about. There's a situ there's an opportunity that caused you some heartache. Something that you're stressing over, Capricorn. I know what it is. You put in for a job, you put in for a position, and you didn't get it or you didn't want it, but it kind of made you upset, like, like you're angry because you, you put so much into this job, you thought long and hard about this, you know, you finally let your mind go into peace, you finally found some rest, you stopped overthinking it. Like you've been told to, and then you didn't get it. And it's causing some heartache because this is what you want. You wanted this opportunity. You want this to be locked in. You just knew. And right now you're looking like, man, I knew I should have kept trying to figure out a way instead of listening to y'all telling me to stop trying to control situations. But just wait, just wait, Capricorn, because I keep hearing a new opportunity is about to arise. It's about to arise. Can we find out what opportunity is about to arise? Something new is about to present itself. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Whatever you're working towards and you had stopped overthinking and we kept telling you you don't have to work. You don't have to work. That cycle is over. The coin is about to come to you. The coin is coming to find you. It's looking for you. It's searching for you. Okay? It is searching for you. Okay? Okay? You also have the Ten of Cups. That's 10 right there. Everything is showing completion. All that hard work and dedication that you pulled in, somebody's coming in to offer you. They're offering you a new line of wealth. I bet you didn't even see this coming. You didn't know it was coming. You didn't know this opportunity existed. This is probably something that you didn't even apply for. Somebody has been watching you, scouting you, and they're wanting you to be a part of what they have. Can we get some more on this Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. I had this also for Libra. Okay, you're finding your stability. 
but there's somebody who's trying to offer you your cup, but you're not seeing them. Sorry, they're trying to offer you their love and you're not seeing them because you're focused on your finances. You're focused on the wealth right now. You're not really focused on a relationship. Okay, like I said, I feel like this person is kind of getting in the way for you. You're focused on something else. This person is looking at you. They're, they're looking sad. They're trying to offer you their heart, their love, their emotions, and you're not hearing it because your mind is set on this wealth. Maybe you're thinking about what you can offer them, what you can give them in the moment. You know what I'm saying? So, what's up with this Knight of Pentacles? Knight of Pentacles. You're searching for something that's going to complete you. Your search of completion has to do with finances. I feel like you are really, really stuck on money right now. You can't even focus on your relationship. Your relationship is falling apart. Y'all aren't communicating. They feel like you're not there. You're feeling, they're feeling like you're out of space right now, Capricorn. This person that you're dealing with, they feel like there's no partnership, that you're not communicating well. There's no connection there right now. You're, they're, you're not feeling it. They're not feeling you. There's no understanding. It's... It's... <laughs> All of your emotions, all of y'all's dreams are just falling, just falling, 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 falling apart. Because instead of worrying about not being judged, you're losing your person. Your person is finding enlightenment somewhere else. Matter of fact, that's you. You're finding enlight. You're searching for enlightenment. You're searching for. You're searching for the enlightenment. Your person right here is being enlightened somewhere else. Somebody's coming in to get your girl your guy or whatever this person is soon really soon this person is going to be leaving they're going to be exiting out of your life they feel like trying to stick with you is like a dark place they're trying to get you to see the light but you're still entrapped in your own mind this person is going to be flying free the they, they love you they're passionate about you but they're trying to show you like they got to move forward they can't continue to pause their life while you try to figure out how to get yours together you have the three of wands it's just an emotional turmoil right here. Emotional turmoil. Y'all aren't communicating correctly. Y'all can't communicate with one another. It's like too much in between both of y'all. It's like arguments. Uh, dis dis disaster. That's what I'm getting. Disaster. It's between y'all. Distractions. Disasters between y'all. Emotionally. Um, y'all are pulled in two different directions. Can I see what you have for the death card for november 1st through november 6th for capricorn you're being let go you're being let go <laughs> it's all because it's self-inflicted capricorn it's self-inflicted that you're being let go Somebody that you, a team, a team is letting you go. This is work. This is that job that I was telling you about. The position that you get and get is letting you go. And with this, this with the death card is a new beginning. You're going to see something new for yourself. This is a celebration. You're celebrating that new beginning that you're about to get. Reason why you didn't get that job, that position, is because somebody was envious of you. But that's only in due time because you were walking into abundance. Somebody saw that you carried a lot of knowledge. You carried a lot of skill. They were envious of you. And they're probably the ones who blocked you. They were blocking. They were blocking hard for you not to get this opportunity. But little did they know that the door was opening up for you to have a better opportunity presented to you. One that you didn't even see coming. I keep hearing pour one for yourself, Capricorn. Pour one for yourself. A 
Okay, you have the Four of Cups and the Empress. It's no more overthinking. No, no more not seeing what's for you, not seeing your options, okay? No longer, like, it's none of that. It's none of that. No more not seeing your options, no more not seeing you for you, not seeing you for who you are, no more of the stop of abundance. Everything is about to flow for you. You're gonna see what's what's for you behind you. You're getting you're getting clarity. You're getting guidance. You're knowing your worth. That's what they're gonna show you with this new job, this new opportunity. You're emptying out your you're emptying out your cup to be filled with this new opportunity. Okay, you're being fulfilled. You're gonna be pleased. Can we figure out why the Ace of Cups is in reverse? Because you're about to show up. You're about to be seen. You have a lot to offer. This is the person coming in for you. They know your worth. They're trying to take you there. They're trying to offer you what you deserve. Okay, Capricorn? You know what you want. You're no longer searching. It's going to be provided for you. You're no longer lost, just trying to make up a path. You're, you're like, hmm, you're no longer scattered brain. You know what you want. You know what you have. Can we figure out what this Eight of Pentacles energy is for Capricorn? <clears throat> what is it for Capricorn? What is the King of Pentacles? I'm just saying, November 1st through the 6th, Capricorn, you are going to be promoted. You're going to be leaving and being promoted. You have the King of Swords, the Strength card, and the Emperor. Nothing. Okay. You're going to get the that stance, that financial, that wealth that you're wanting. Don't lose sight. Okay. You're going to, I feel like you're not going to be as determined. You're going to feel locked in. You need to tame and ground yourself. I feel like this new opportunity is going to have you feeling yourself, Capricorn. You're going to be feeling yourself. You're going to lose sight. You're going to lose that determination. You're going to kind of get outside of your head. You're getting big-headed now. You're getting big-headed now. It's trying to calm down. Calm down. What's this King of Swords? Don't just run off with it. Don't just run off with it. Don't, don't get in your head. Like I said, you're getting big-headed. You're getting big-headed and you just taking off with it. You got that coin coming in, getting big headed. That coin and getting big headed is going to tear you apart. It's going to cause a lot of issues. You got to stay grounded. You got to show gratitude. You got to be appreciative of what you have. Okay. Don't let the money change you. Capricorn. Don't let the money change you. We have the chariot card. What's the chariot for? Okay. You got you got money coming in. You got money coming in. Now you're ready to offer somebody something. You're ready to give somebody what you couldn't give them at first. You're ready to come back. You know what? That person who's leaving, that person who's leaving because you you so tied up on yourself. You so tied up in trying to get the coin. You're coming back. And you're coming back with a new offering. You're trying to win their heart back. You know that person was for you. You're chasing them. You're trying to get them. Okay? And you're you're going fast. You're moving head on. You know this person. You know this person has... They was, they was really focused and determined. This is somebody who is goal-driven, who moves fast. So you feel like you have to move fast to get them because you know what they're worthy of. You know what they hold. You know that that's a great catch. Capricorn, don't lose them. Don't lose them. You're going to have to put the work in behind this person. You have the eight of pentacles at the end of the deck. You got to put work in for this person. They're not going to let you come back too easy. 
they're worried about if you're gonna still be in that same set that same st the st same set mindset okay but this is this is a change coming what is the what is the change that's coming for capricorn what is the change that's coming for capricorn in this will of fortune is this like a good karmic this is new bad karmic what is the change that's about to happen for them Okay, you have the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles. Sis is sis ain't playing. She knows her where she knows how to be how she wants to be treated. This go around is not gonna be the same with her. You gotta come different. You gotta come strong. You gotta come strong with her. Okay, she has her own stability. She has options flowing into her. Okay. So you have to re you have to re present that connection, re get that connection. Okay, you have to have a different thought process when you come into her. You gotta have a different thought process when you come into her. You gotta be you and you can't just offer her the world because she already has the world. She doesn't need you to offer her the world. She needs you to come stronger because she can get the world herself, Capricorn, or he can get the world itself, Capricorn. You got to come stronger when you come back. You have the sun card. You have the four of pentacles and you have the seven of cups. Look, you're trying to woe this person, but that's not where your happiness lies. You focused on financial balance. Now you're trying to balance getting this person back, having a happy relationship and seeing what you can offer them. There's nothing to offer. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. I mean, you're going to have to have a different mindset approaching them, but it's going to be really hard because there's nothing that you can offer this person. And at the end of the day, there's still no happiness there. Can I get some clarity on the Four of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles for Capricorn. Look at that. The Page of Swords. Seven of Wands. Y'all aren't seeing eye to eye. Okay? You're, you're looking back for this person, but it's like time lost, telling you to move forward. Telling you to move forward. Move forward. What else you have to tell Capricorn? Try not to overwork yourself. Find a balance. Find the peace in life. Find the peace in life. Okay, go. I think we told you before, Capricorn, enjoy life a little bit. The moon is at the bottom. The moon is at the bottom of the deck. Just go step by step. Stop trying to look into the future and create your own steps, Capricorn. Stop trying to do it. Okay? Because that's that's what the that's where the problem lies. Your, your mind gets too wrapped up in something. And then you can't, you can't focus on what's in front of you. Your issues, you can never focus on what's in front of you. So now I'm going to get some affirmative guidance for November 1st to the 6th for Capricorn. Just to see what they have to tell you. Keep being you. What others say or do is a reflection of them, not you. Don't take anything personally. It drains your energy. When they let you go, they don't give you the position. When that person that's envious of you start talking down on you, even though they know how great you are, don't let it don't let it shake you. Don't let it move you. Mirror. 
as within, so without. Have compassion for yourself and others. Everything is a reflection when we change. Everything changes. You keep getting reflection. You keep getting reflection. Know who you are. Know your worth. Don't stress about it. Don't stress about it. And cleanse. You are water. Cry, sweat, drink, soak, swim to refresh. Water is memory. Water is memory. And remember who you are. Remember your worth. Okay, Capricorn? Whenever you get into November, whenever things, when you feel like you're not being appreciated, not being rewarded the way you should be rewarded, remember who you are, your worth, what you hold. Remember those things. Remember not to overthink. Remember not to try to control situations and let them flow. Even outside of jobs, remember your worth. Remember what you bring to the table when this person is trying to make you work so hard to get them back. Okay? Remember. Remember what caused you to lose things. And remember how to move forward from that. Now, if you feel like this resonated with you, Capricorn, please give this a thumbs up and comment and share the video. Capricorns, much power, much love.